I have another question um, from disappeared. Oh, from Emily C. Um, and uh, actually, there are sort of two related questions. One also from um, from Laura. And um, Emily asks, how does a movement retain momentum over the long term, especially when faced with great setbacks, disappointments, and the poor health of advocates? What is effective for keeping momentum going um, and ill people engaged? Um, and then Laura asked something related, which I think is um, Sorry, if I can just find it, which is um, sort of how much anger is effective and necessary in this kind of activism. I get exhausted from being too angry, and I mm -hmm. think that's a problem for many of us. Those are good questions. Um, you, it is very hard to uh, maintain and um, and to keep this going year after year, especially uh, when you don't get. Oh, we have a cat joining us. Um, when you don't get um, uh, optimistic news to keep you going, and, and, and the uh, the research isn't panning out, or nobody's caring, um, it you know we we had ten years of ups and downs, and the downs were uh, generally much worse than the ups because uh, they were just so so disappointing, and the deaths. The deaths just kept going up and up every year. That never changed. Um, so uh, people definitely dropped out um, and were exhausted by it. And there was a, there was constant flux in the movement. Uh, the movement fractured, as you saw in the film, uh, and, and tag split from ACT UP. Uh, so ACT UP, uh, that happened five years in. Um, but the work continued. Um, movements change over time. AIDS activism is needed now more as much as ever, and it's a much smaller. Um, it, it no longer has uh, the active particip participation of the entire LGBT community. Um, that community has moved on to marriage equality. Um, but the AIDS activists who are left, uh, which cross various communities now, are a very lean, mean group. Um, uh, we are, on average, we are smart. We are a smarter movement than we have ever been. Um, we are more expert than we, we have ever been. A lot of us are in uh, uh, a, uh, collecting a salary on this work now with various AIDS groups. Um, and we're doing it full time, and uh, uh, we have the, all the access in the world that we didn't have at the beginning. Um, we know all the in, the. in the film, um, there's a sort of really moving moment where I think you and um, several other members of maybe one of the. I don't know, I'm not sure, I'm sure if, it, if it's a tag, but you're sort of in in someone's apartment and you're talking about this feeling that you're not. You know, you've been fighting for a while, and that you don't believe that you're going to live to see a cure. That you're going to live to see the 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 thing that you're all fighting for. And there's this feeling of of the future that you're fighting for is 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 really far away, much farther away than the five or ten years that it ended up being. Um, and I, I I wanted to sort of ask, like you personally, like like did you have moments when you just were like, I just I can't do this anymore. It's just too much. Sure. Um, and uh, during the split year, the, the last two years before we split off for TAG, uh, I felt that a lot uh, because it, it, had stopped, it had stopped becoming, the upside had disappeared. The, the medical news was so depressing, we didn't seem to be making progress. And, there, and the family that I had found within ACT UP was... Uh, was like the worst family life you could imagine. You know, it went from a loving family to this horror story of you know, where mom and dad are beating each other up every night, and everybody's drunk, and you know, it's just a horrible, horrible scene. And it was, it was, you just want to get out. Um, and I, uh, I, a lot of us worked really hard to to figure out. Well, how can we make this mentally 
uh, safe again um, so that we can continue this work. And um, that's ultimately what led to the split um, was our desire to keep doing the work uh, but not be so emotionally distraught while we were doing it to take care of ourselves. Um, and you're not going to get anything accomplished if, if you're um, uh, miserable the entire time while you're doing it. There's got to be some, some joy and some camaraderie uh, in, fighting these, in fighting these fights. Even if you think uh, uh, you're not going to live long enough to see the fruits of your effort, um, um, to, to, to do this type of um, activism for a, a, a larger health community where you know that you're fighting for thousands of other people can bring a, a real sense of accomplishment just by the act, uh, just by the trying. And um, so for me and many others, it was, it was a choice. You could either give up um, and, uh, and, and surely die, or you could die fighting. And die, dying fighting sounded more alive to, the rest, to most of us. It sounded like the way to go. So, um, it, and it was, at many times it was joyous, the work we did. It was, uh, it was very uh, loving and, and empowering. And, um, uh, you know, even when you weren't winning, uh, just the, 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 fight, the act of fighting was very empowering.